I feel absolutely calm and in a normal state. This is what he writes me. Six weeks before he's dead. How does a man go from being absolutely calm to being suicidal in six weeks? It's sad. I'll get that. But what good will delivering that letter do now? I had a nice apartment in New York on the Upper West Side. There's a deli down the street called Sid's. Every morning, I'll walk there and I get a cup of coffee and a bagel and read the newspaper. I think about it every day that I'm here. It'll be the first place I go when I get state side. I'm going to be sitting there eating one of Sid Melman's toasted onion bagels and reading a tiny article in the New York Times. Page 18. It says that you, Colonel Begner, were hanged for your crimes you committed during the war. You were buried in an unmarked grave. And then I'll think about my cigarette. And I'll think about you sitting there with that stupid look on your face. There's something inside me. I don't know what it is. What I say, nobody else sees it. You're a stranger here. You drink too much. You're hysterical, out of control. I don't want to calm down. It's called the act of painting for a reason. Don't you see that this painting is unpleasant? The townspeople have signed a petition against you. They don't want you to come back. There's something in that. No, I don't be getting notions into your head. So it's a crippled face, fats. Don't do anybody any good trying to put ideas in his head. Ha, 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 ha.